Oh, oh, hey, hi, Robin. Uh, hi, Bill. Well, hey. Uh, well, it was just fortuitous that you uh, you came on after the seminar is done. So, anyway, um, uh, thank you for um, uh, taking a couple minutes. Uh, you you had a couple of experiences. Can you can you just tell us what what happened? You had a interesting, oh, go ahead and tell me about the. You said chips, and then also the Chick Fil A yes. thing, and just. Yes, so I was uh, doing it for chips. And when I was doing it the whole time, we did it the same way with your video on the TV to time us. And all I could think about, though, were tortilla chips and guacamole. Like, that's all, even though I love potato chips, but I was just thinking about tortilla chips. And I did that. However, when I did mine, I felt mine in my throat and it just got real hot in my throat. And then I just kept going. Then I got really thirsty, but I just kept going. And I probably started at a 10 with chips. Like every day I have to have chips. And when I finished, I kind of felt like maybe like a three or so. However, as the week went on, I had no chips. My husband brought home chips and guacamole, which he never does. And I had a couple and that was it. So since that time, which is over a week ago, I haven't had any tortilla chips and guacamole. But unfortunately, I've been wanting regular potato chips. So when I was when I was doing the Cogno ball, I was thinking about the tor the tortilla chips and not about potato chips. So I have to I think I need to do it again with potato chips. It'll be it'll be it might even surprise you that the potato chips might be somewhere else too in your chakras. But um it, it'll be interesting to see what happens. But um did so question does uh -huh. when your husband brought home the the chips and guacamole mm -hmm. you notice the enjoyment you know kind of the what call oodles of pleasure meaning how much enjoyment you got out of the chips where did you notice that you got the exact same amount of pleasure or it just didn't taste as the same or what did it taste the same or not or what did what was your experience when you did eat it i ate it then because I felt obligated to eat it okay. and that's what I'm used to doing, but there was not the enjoyment. Ah, and there was, it, you know, the taste I, I think was the same, yeah. but I just didn't, didn't before I was, um, it was almost un, an uninsatiable kind of need for the chips and guac just yeah. had to have more and more and more. And this time he brought there with it was in a it was from La Hacienda and they had two big giant scoops of guacamole and three bags of tortilla chips. Normally I'd go through a whole bag, you know, that same sitting. Sure. And there's still two bags sitting in the kitchen now. How many how long has it been? How long has it been for you now? It's that. just been um a couple of weeks, maybe, maybe two and a half weeks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it's pretty recent. All yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Okay. You probably haven't noticed, uh, you know, any difference in how your clothing fits or anything like that. How I'm what? How oh, your clothing fits, meaning, you know, the oh. kinds of weight loss. Um, lightly, absolutely. Yes. Now that you ask me, yes. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's how I, I haven't got haven't gotten on the scale. Yeah. Well, you know, it, it, it's very um, it's uh, it, just a little bit at a time. Uh, uh, wonderful. Oh, my God. So so tell me about the the whole thing with your uh, the other Chick-fil-A and the daughter and that. Tell us about yes. that. Yes. So my niece was here to visit for a week and she's in college in Texas. And. I told her about the Cogno ball we got. It came in the mail when she was here. 
And so that was the last week in um, May. So that's when I got the ball. Okay. And um, so we did that for Chick-fil-A. She loves Chick-fil-A and she has to have it pretty much like every day at her school. It's one of the choices for them to eat in the cafeteria area. And she says, I eat Chick-fil-A all the time. I just love that sweet tasting chicken. I said, oh, they soak it in sugar. I'm sure they do. And she just loves it. And I said, okay, let's do the Cogno ball for that. And we did it for the 15 minutes with your tape playing. And I loved it when you said, okay, keep going. You're halfway through, you know, keep going. So we kept going while she was doing it about 10 minutes in, she got a stomach ache, like a really intense stomach ache. She said, oh my God, I want to sit down. Oh my goodness. I, my stomach hurts so bad. And I remember what you said. You said, you just have to work through it and keep going. And so I said, just keep going. Just five more minutes. Just keep going. She did. It went away. And she went from, she started probably about an eight or a nine, she said. And when she was done, she was at about a four. However, when she went to school, which was the real test, it was, she said, I haven't had, I had Chick-fil-A once and I haven't had it very much, if at all. So it's probably gone down further than the four, if you ask me. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Wow. Thank you for sharing that. That's just, I, I love it. I love that you you actually did it. You did the exercise. And, uh, and, and, you know, the important thing that you said, you know, you, you just allowed yourself to really enjoy the guacamole and that sort of thing. And, and uh, I love that part of the story. I also love that you're, you, you know, you watched all the instruction and you knew when the pain starts to keep muscling through it. Yes. Uh, everybody wants to stop when it, when those terrible feelings happen in their center line so anyway awesome thank you for sharing that well thank you for listening and coming up with something so fabulous to help so many people yeah it really it's a you know it's 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 kind of a crazy that it works but it does yeah 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 thank you thank you phil